Hello guys, I am back with a new tutorial. In this video, we will gonna studying about filters. Yes, it is a lab experiment of fourth semester electronics and communication students of VTO. Let's define our aim. To conduct an experiment to study the frequency response of a second order Butterworth active low pass filter for the given design specification. Here what we are doing is we are studying the frequency response of an second order. Basically it's an in filter there will be two types of filters. First one is active filter and next one is passive filter. So here what we are doing is in active filter there will be again many types. First is first order filter and it is second order filter. Here what we are doing is we are studying the frequency response. How the frequency of its response is of a second order. This is the second order. Second order Butterworth active low pass filter. So again there will be in active there are again two types of filters in here low pass and high pass. So what we are doing is now in this video we will gonna studying about low pass filter. So let's get started. I will put my presentation into presenter view so that I can explain to you easily. So here let me explain briefly. A filter is an electronic circuit. It will be an electronic circuit that is designed to pass a specified band of frequencies while attenuating all the signals outside the band. It is a frequency selective circuit. So filter is also called as a frequency selective circuit. So what it will do actually is if it is like something like this then the input output. So if we consider this as a filter in input if you give a wave something like this if it is so many frequency assume assume if we give us wave something like this then we will get output wave something like this which means here for an active low pass filter if consider this as an active low pass filter for this frequency these are all variations what you are seeing these are all get filtered by this circuit and we will get a smooth wave at the output so this is the advantage of it it can even reduce the noise and in reverse action it's also possible we can use high pass filter for that so basically getting into the fact we are divided the filter into two types active filters and passive filter. So active filter uses active components such as an op amp and a transistor these are all called as an active component so and active filters active filters represent the circuit which contain only active components. Next get into the passive filter passive filters which contain a resistors and capacitors they are called as a passive filters. So let's define what is a active low pass filter. Here it is active low pass filter contains active elements with basic passive elements and the name itself indicate that the low frequency signal from input to output while it blocks high frequency signal. What it will does is it will pass only low frequency signals into it and it will block all the high frequency which there will be on present in the wave. So if a wave something like this will be filtered into a wave something like this. So this is the advantage of an active low pass filter. So I hope you have understood. Next get into the next slide. So in here we are discussing about the circuit diagram. The circuit given is here will 100% work. So no doubt at all I am I personally tried in this lab this circuit. So what we have given is they have given design specification. They have given 5 kilohertz for designing this so that the frequency more than 5 kilohertz assume as something wave like more than 5 kilohertz will not be get filtered by that circuit. So if a wave more than 5 kilohertz it will be observed by observed by the circuit and we will get only the only the output which is uh, below 5 kilohertz. So this is the advantage of this circuit. We are designing this circuit now right here. So in this I will gonna explain you how you got this RKS 18 kilo ohm only and 10 kilo ohm and these capacitors value same like this. So before getting into that let's learn about the circuit diagram and here we are showing a second order Butterworth low pass filter. So it's a second order filter. Why it is second order means it contains this passion. So this is called as a second order filter. So next we will get into the construction. How how we find out these values right here and these values. They have given the pass band gain of AV which is 1.586. You can see right here. 
so you can see right here the pass band gain we have given is 1.586 and cutoff frequency as 5 kilohertz using this sh is equal to 1 by 2 pi r1 r2 c1 c2 we have to cal we have to calculate the value of r1 r2 and c1 c2 so i will showing you how you can do it exactly circuit we are using in non inverting mode of operation so we are using 1 plus rf by r1 formula 1 plus rf by r a and assume rf is equal to 10 kilohertz assume rf is equal to 10 kilohertz why because if every some of the constant we need to assume and some of them we have to calculate by using the value of rf calculate the r a by substituting into this formula av is equal to 1 plus rf by r a so by using this formula by using the value of rf calculate the value of r a which we will get into something around 17 kilohertz okay next we have to calculate for the fh frequency so fh can be easily calculated by approximating r1 is equal to r2 and approximating c1 is equal to c2 and assuming c1 c2 value as constant 0.1 microfarad so define the value of capacitor 0.1 microfarad so that you can calculate r1 and r2 we already know the value of fh they have given 5 kilohertz if they haven't given you have to ask for what is the cutoff frequency after that only you can calculate so here after substitute this into this formula and you will get something like 318 318 kilohertz 318 ohm we will get 318 ohm which can be easily standard we can use standard resistors of 330 ohm so what we have to do is we have to check for the components of their working condition basically fact it is a sine wave of amplitude 5 volt peak to peak to input from the signal generator so what we have to do is we have to apply 5 volt peak to peak so if this is a wave right here something like this we have to apply a sine wave of 5 volt it should be 5 volt of peak to peak only peak to peak means this i am showing a line here this is a peak to peak this should be 5 volt and after what we have to do is vary the input frequency and note down the corresponding output amplitude i will show you some more detail this table something like this so this will be very helpful so here you write down the frequencies and here you write down the volts so first you may you may be getting for this 7 6 5 4 like that it will keep on decreasing here also we are getting to av av also start decreasing and we have to calculate the gain gain can be calculated by 20 log of av it's a simple formula you just use the formula in your scientific calculator that will be enough so after calculating all these results you will get you will get a least level of 0 after getting 0 you just calculate all the values it will be 0 will be the ending next what you have to do is you have to plot a graph so if you plot the graph of gain versus frequency you will get something like this you will get a graph something like this if you have plotted correctly here what it will do is first it will be a constant after there will be slope after it will keep on decreasing and end up to zero so by taking this what we can do is we can calculate the value of fh fh is the what we have given in the question is 5 kilohertz which is a cut off frequency we have to calculate by this graph and this should be equal to this one so the calculated one will equal to the given one then our answer will be right and our uh, what we have done the experiment is true so like that you have to calculate and make sure that you have connected all the components in a right fashion so that if you have got messed up with something like this and you will surely face some problem so that your output may not be correct so if you like this video please subscribe my channel because it give me an opportunity to do some of the videos like this and if you just support me by liking and subscribing my channel thank you guys for watching this video thank you